Okay, so this is part two of the network diagram. And we part one, we stopped at node C. So let's continue. So at node C, we had 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 plus 0x4 plus x5 minus x six equals sixty. D. So as I mentioned earlier, like X one always has to be positive. Or it's like for example, the reason why I kept the X one positive here is because I had that the one is less than two, right? or three or four or five or six, right? So I have to subtract those to the X1. I can't bring the X1 over there. So that's why that's why it's looking like this. So um, for node D we had zero X1 plus zero X2 plus zero X3 plus X4 plus zero X five minus X six equals fifty. And finally for node E we had X one plus zero X two minus X three plus zero X four plus zero x five plus zero x six equals negative forty. So finally I have the system of equations. So as you might suspect I have to put these system system of equations in an augmented matrix. So let me go erase this. These problems take a long time but the application of linear algebra, the traffic engineering to all the different studies of engineering is pretty interesting. That's why I'm doing this problem to show you guys how useful linear algebra can be. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the matrix now. I have this matrix over here. I have one, negative one. And this is just the coefficients in front of each of our each of our x's. So you can just rewind back and see what it, what, this, what the system of equations were. So this was negative 50. This is 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 1, negative 1, positive 1, negative 1, 0, 0. So now all we have to do is solve this matrix by row reducing. So when you do that, when you finally row reduce this matrix, so this is this being x1, x2, x3, x4, and, x, and a, x1 through x6, so you're trying to solve for each sector or each um, branch or whatever you might call it. So you have to row reduce, and when you do that, I have the calculation already here, likely. You, fa you find out that x1 is equal to x3 minus 40. x2 is equal to x3 plus 10. X3 is a free variable, meaning we don't have a pivot there. It's a linearly, it's a linearly independent column. X4 is 
times 6 plus 50. X5 is X6 plus 60. And finally, X6 is free. The free variable, linearly independent. So finally, this is our general flow pattern. So it's a tedious problem, but I think the process is pretty simple. As long as you, I think the main concept here is you have to recognize that total outflow has to equal total inflow and that X1 has to be positive. With that being said, the rest is pretty simple. That being said, that you know how to already row reduce in the matrix from there. It's pretty simple. All right, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.